डॉक्टर अमर वेनके फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट के आई डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑटोमोटिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मेजर सिस्टम्स एंड इंजन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एन ऑटोमोटिव दिज आर द ब्रॉड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स then this is today's uh, agenda of discussion uh, major engine components of automotive uh, the objectives are uh, understand the major systems of automotive then understanding various uh, engine components understand the function of engine components uh, this is the outline of today's lecture introduction to major systems in automotive introduction to engine components and function of engine components so major systems in automotive uh, automotive components are uh, mainly uh, divided into five segments uh, engine parts drive transmission and steer, steering parts suspension and brake parts electrical parts body and chassis so first we are going to see the chassis and auto body so as shown in figure uh, the chassis of a vehicle is shown so this we can say uh, this is the base of any vehicle okay uh, chassis is a, a french term and was initially used to denote the frame main structure of a vehicle so this is the main structure of the vehicle uh, on this particular uh, base of the vehicle the uh, next components they are added then automotive body or uh, superstructure so this is the automotive body so a body is built on the chassis initially we have seen the chassis that is base of the automotive and then on that particular base the body is built that is called as automotive body or superstructure the body is an uh, integral part of the chassis the body or superstructure is made after uh, receiving the chassis from the manufacturer so after Uh, receiving the chassis the body is built on the chassis then engine and its components the engine is shown in the figure the engine converts chemical energy uh, into mechanical energy which is then utilized for vehicular movement so this is the automotive engine the crankshaft it consisting of crankshaft camshaft okay uh, piston piston is moving in upward and downward direction and then it is converted into rotary motion with the help of uh, crankshaft okay then there is alternator spark plug uh, these are the main engine components then uh, these are the main components of ic engine cylinder cylinder head piston and piston rings connecting rod crankshaft camshaft inlet wall and exhaust wall so first cylinder so cylinder is as shown in uh, right hand side diagram okay so this is the cylinder the cylinder or cylinder liner of an uh, ic engine is fitted in the cylindrical block uh, which is a single casted unit and is considered to be the main body of an engine so this is one of the main part of the engine that is cylinder the block has cylinder liners the piston reciprocates up and down from 
top dead center to bottom dead center to generate the power. So, inside the cylinder there is a piston and piston is moving from uh, TDC to BDC and BDC to TDC and generating the power. Piston and piston rings. So, as shown in the diagram, uh, there is a piston and at the top there are piston rings. So, piston is a cylind cylindrical unit uh, used to compress the charge during compression stroke and to transmit the gas force to the connecting rod and then to the crankshaft during the power stroke. The pistons of IC engines are uh, usually made up of uh, aluminum alloy uh, which has high thermal conductivity and is uh, light in weight. So, piston is made up of aluminum. The piston moves up and down from TDC to BDC and assist in completing the engine cycle. So, piston is moving inside the cylinder. Then crankshaft. So, in figure the crankshaft is shown. The crankshaft is called the backbone of an engine because it converts the uh, reciprocating motion of piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft. So, engine converts chemical energy into uh, mechanical energy and the linear motion of the piston is converted into rotary motion uh, with the help of crankshaft. Piston pin inlet wall and exhaust wall. So, as shown in figure, the inlet wall and exhaust wall is shown and Piston pins are also shown in the diagram. The function of inlet wall is to take the air fuel mixture inside the cylinder and the function of exhaust wall to remove the air fuel mixture from the cylinder outside the cylinder. Spark plug. Uh, this is used for the ignition of the fuel. Uh, when the air fuel mixture is compressed uh, inside the cylinder, at the same time, the spark, spark plugs uh, create the spark and the air fuel mixture burns uh, inside the cylinder. And high amount of pressure is created on the piston and the piston moves in downward direction. So, this is the function of spark plug. Then in reflection spot, there is one question. Uh, after studying the various automotive components and their function, uh, just pause the video and write any five engine components. So, pause the video and write the engine components. Okay, the five engine components are, so you might have thought on various options, but the various engine components are cylinder, cylinder head, piston and piston rings, connecting rod, crankshaft, camshaft, inlet wall and exhaust wall. Uh, these are the important components uh, of the engine. So, at the end, the summary of today's lecture, camshaft, crankshaft, cylinder and piston are the important parts of the engine. Automotive engine components are working together to convert chemical energy to mechanical energy which is then coupled to the wheels of a car and car starts moving. 
so this is the end of lesson number four in lesson number five you are going to study uh, evolution in automotive electronics in automobiles trends in automotive then introduction of electronics in non-critical applications thank you very much